Hi, this is Mike for Themify, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you the new features of the Announcement Bar plugin from Themify. Uh, if I jump over here to my plugins page, you'll see that I have the Announcement Bar already installed, and I'm going to activate it now. Once activated, you will notice two new items in your menu bar here, the Announcements, where we add new announcements, and towards the bottom, the Announcement Bar, where you can control the global settings for the Announcement Bar plugin. So let's just jump over to Announcements, and let's add a new announcement. I'm going to give this a title, and I'm going to call this Weekend Sale. I'll come down and I'll add some content, and I'll say everything must go. And I will publish that. And if we jump over to the front page and refresh, you will notice our announcement bar has been added. Our title ends up in this call out here and the content ends up in the announcement bar. Uh, if we scroll down you will notice we have additional uh, announcement options. Here we have the option to hide the post title or not hide the post title. And this feature here to start the announcement and end the announcement at a particular time and date. For instance, this being a weekend sale, let's say we wanted to start the announcement on a Friday. We would simply click on Friday. You'll see the time pops in here. Say we want to start it at noon, we could choose the time as well. And when we're done, we click done. And since it's our weekend sale, we can say we want to end this announcement at Sunday. And let's choose 11 o'clock in the evening. And our announcement will uh, end at that point. We can also add an external link to our title here. I will choose themify.me. And we can also add an action button. I'll say more details. And we can add a uh, link to that button as well. And to show you that we can add uh, multiple links, I will choose themify.me slash weekend sales. So if you had a blog post, you could add uh, a link to the button that will bring you directly to that blog post with more details about the sale. So let's update this and take a look over here on the front page. You'll see we now have an action button here and if you look to the lower left you'll see that that uh, button will bring us to our weekend sale blog post and the title will bring us someplace else to themify.me. You could have these pointed to the same link or you could have them pointed to different links. Let's add another. I'll make my second announcement here and I will call this news and I'll say special announcement. Now in this case if I want to add more detail I am going to come up to the toolbar here and this button here is the WordPress insert more tag and if I click on that we have our more tag here and just below that I'm gonna say additional news. And if I publish this and come back to our front page and refresh, you'll see here our news, our special announcement, and then we have our more button. And if I click on that, a drop down drops down and gives us our additional news. The great thing about this is that this actually works with the Themify Builder, which is actually uh, right here next to our announcement options. We click on the Themify Builder tab, and I'm just going to make a very quick two-tab builder. I'm going to drop in a tab module here, and I will make one tab here. I will call it Tab 1, and I'll say Tab 1. And I'll add a new row for a second tab, and I will call this tab 2, and say tab 2, and click Save. And at this point, I'm just going to duplicate this module and place it in the second row 
and save. At this point I'm going to update the, post, the announcement and have a look at it on the front page. If I refresh now, here's our news, our special announcement. When I click the More button, here's our additional news uh, text, as well as the two tabs that we added through the Themify Builder. Coming back over here to the back end, let's take a look at some of our global settings by coming down to the Announcement Bar menu item. Here you have the option to enable or disable the entire announcement bar. You have the option to have your announcements pull from certain categories or all the categories. You can globally hide the post title or show the post title. You can order by date, ID, author, name, um, randomly. You can show uh, one to ten announcements. You can choose how many you show. Uh, you can turn the visibility on it uh, to one or two or three announcements at a time. You can scroll through one or two or three or seven announcements at a time. You can change the effect from slide to fade. I'll change this to fade. You can turn the autoplay off or change the duration of the autoplay. I'll change this to three seconds. You can turn the wrap from yes or no. Change the speed from slow, normal, and fast. Change the slider nav. The slider nav refers to these arrows right here. You may also turn on and off the pager pagination here, which refers to these little dots here, which scroll through each of our announcements. Uh, again, you have a start date and an end date. Now, these are your global settings, so if you'd like to have your announcements as a group turn on or off at a particular date, you get that same date picker here, and you can set your uh, time to show all of your announcements, and you can turn them all off as well. You can change the position of the announcement from the top of the page to the bottom of the page, as well as making it an absolute or a fixed uh, announcement bar. We can change the close button from toggleable to uh, permanently closed or to no option to close it. We also get the option to remember that state on the user's machine by setting a browser cookie. Uh, by toggleable, if I, turn, if I click this X, it turns off and we have this nice tab here where we can bring it back. We can change the text alignment from left to center to right. I will change this to center. We can also change the default styling. By default, we get this sort of warm yellow background with a slightly uh, muted red button color. If we want to change this to say blue or uh, purple or orange, we are free to do that as well as a couple of customs. Let me show you blue here. I will just click on save. Bear in mind we've also centered the text, and I will refresh. Here we have blue centered text, which is fading rather than scrolling. Uh, let me come back over here. I will change our design style from blue to one of our uh, custom images. Let's try the bookmark. Come back to the front page and refresh. And now we have centered text with our bookmark styling. Let's say the default preset styles uh, do not suit your needs. You also have the option here to go from the presets to the custom styling. We can change the bar background using this nice color picker. We can change the background position as well as the background repeat property. We can change the announcement title color, background, as well as the font. We have a number of uh, Google fonts available here. I'll just pick one, let's say, Arizona, as well as changing the title uh, background repeat property and background position property. We can also change the announcement content, font, color, background position property. Let's change this to lobster font and we will change the color to a bright cyan 
and save the changes. Have a look over here on the front page. And here on the front page you will notice that our fonts and colors have changed along with whatever other custom styles we've added and that's just some of the uh, control that you have for customizing this very versatile announcement bar with the new announcement bar plugin from Themify. Thank you.